Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and there's been an earthquake in Washington, D.C. politics. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, the Republican leader in the Senate, who was former Majority Leader, been there since the Reagan years, he is stepping down from his position as leader. Now, I want you to know he's not resigning as a senator, just stepping down as leader. That's a question that people have been asking. He gave a speech today announcing it, and there's not much more for me to say than other than have you look at it and give me your thoughts in the comments when you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. My wife, my wife Elaine and I got married on President Reagan's birthday, February 6th. It's probably not the most romantic thing to admit, but Reagan meant a lot to both of us. For 31 years, Elaine has been the love of my life, and I'm eternally grateful to have her by my side. I think back to my first days in the Senate with deep appreciation for the time that helped shape my view of the world. I'm unconflicted about the good within our country and the irreplaceable role we play as the leader of the free world. It's why I worked so hard to get the national security package passed earlier this month. Believe me, I know the politics within my party at this particular moment in time. I have many faults. Misunderstanding politics is not one of them. That said, I believe more strongly than ever that America's global leadership is essential to preserving the shining city on a hill that Ronald Reagan discussed. For as long as I'm drawing breath on this earth, I will defend American exceptionalism. So as I've been thinking about when I would deliver some news to the Senate. I always imagined a moment when I had total clarity and peace about the sunset of my work. A moment when I'm certain I have helped preserve the ideals I so strongly believe. That day arrived today. My goals when I was narrowly elected to the Senate back in 1984 were fairly modest. Do a good job for the people of Kentucky and convince them that by doing so they might rehire me for a second term. That was it. That was the plan. If you would have told me 40 years later that I would stand before you as the longest serving Senate leader in American history, Frankly, I would have thought you'd lost your mind. I have the honor of representing Kentucky in the Senate longer than anyone else in our state's history. I just never could have imagined, never could have imagined that happening when I arrived here in 1984 at 42. I'm filled with heartfelt gratitude and humility for the opportunity. But now it's 2024. I'm now 82. As Ecclesiastes tells us, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. To serve Kentucky in the Senate has been the honor of my life. To lead my Republican colleagues has been the highest privilege. But one of life's most underappreciated talents 